How did I become a blind influencer? There's a story. So it was so not my intention. So, okay, I totally want to be a performer. I want to be an actress. I want to be a singer. I've never much lived a life conducive to that though. Military family, moving all over the place, and then randomly halfway through my life, I start going blind. That makes going to auditions and castings a little more difficult. So finally, when I was in college, I was like, okay, well I have to do something, right? Because I don't live in LA, I don't live in NYC, and I can't really drive. So I go ahead and I make my Instagram. I actually started with YouTube, but but that was like so much work for absolutely no reward and it was very clear that I had no idea what I was doing. So for the first year, I'm like barely posting. I'm posting just pictures of myself, not posting any videos. And it's because I was so nervous, I didn't know what I was doing. So for the first year, I was just watching a bunch of YouTube videos on how to be a content creator and how all of the algorithms for the different platforms worked. And my, my photos went nowhere. <laughs> I think that most I got was like over a thousand likes for this one carousel post I put on Instagram and it's because it was me like in swimsuits. <laughs> and then one day I was like, you know what? It'd be so cool if I showed people how I use my phone as a blind person. So I made that video and it got like 500 views. <laughs> but that was like five times more engagement than I had ever gotten. So I was like, okay, okay. And I just start posting more videos about being blind. And suddenly I'm like actually starting to get views and I'm starting to get followers and eventually my whole page is just about blindness and I hadn't even reached 20k followers yet I was at like 16k I think when I got my first brand contract and it was with a brand that was making assistive technology for the blind and visually impaired. And that was literally like a year and six months ago. That's wild. And the rest of that summer I had gifting opportunities and I had other brand deals. I even got to work with Amazon for their Echo Show because it had new screen magnification and screen reader capability. It's pretty nuts because I was actually having so much difficulty making content because I was having a lot of medical and physical health issues. But then last, this time last year, November, I went from 30,000 to 60,000 followers in one month. And now I'm about to hit 100K on Instagram. And when it comes to how much I get paid for brand deals, I have literally just been going off of what Google says in terms of how much influencers charge based on their size. And it's a big range, but I've been paid like the bottom of the range to the beyond the top of the range. Just depends on the company. And now things have kind of been slowing down. I've kind of out outgrown the niche of my blindness. People are like literally saying in my comments how they want me to talk about other stuff. <laughs> So I've started branching out, which is a little scary, but it's going well. People are getting more interested again. And now I'm doing YouTube because you know what? I need money. <laughs> That's not the only reason why, but now I actually like feel like I know what I'm doing and more confident. And on top of all of that, I am still pursuing the acting and the singing, and I am currently facing the headache of trying to move to LA. Man, telling you, relocating from Virginia to LA is a pain. But it is pretty exciting because I've actually started working with some of the biggest TV and film streaming platforms. Not like as an actor for them yet, but you know, baby steps. Now the interesting thing is I always knew I wanted to do something with my life disability and blindness oriented, but I didn't really like know how. And then the influencer route just kind of like took me there. And now I've spread all this awareness and education on blindness and disabilities. And on top of it, I am like in the works of probably starting up a nonprofit. And if not a nonprofit, just, just a bunch of like-minded individuals working to make change. I hope that was interesting enough of a story. I tried to like be quick about it, honestly. I was like, I don't wanna bore them. But if anybody has like questions about details, leave it in the comments, yeah? Give this video a thumbs up, make sure you subscribe and comment. And I love you guys.